Um, if you have any good names for any of my mocks, please leave those in my in the comments. Like, I see all these like weird bionically names. Bionically? That's a word now. Bionically, bionicle like names people have for their mocks or Hero Factory like names. It's just so crazy. Like, how do you, like, how does someone sit down and create the name? Rakar Alpha, Creature of Fire. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, professional. Utter. Utter professional. What? Okay, whatever. Just, this video is way too long. But I can't say, you can't say that my videos are stretched because I'm never going to get monetized. Anyways. <laughs> um. I'm cutting a lot more than I should be. Um, once again, just like the last one, I wanted to use Bionicle G1 parts. I don't know if I mentioned that. No, this doesn't count as using Bionicle piece because it's still meant to be integrated with the CCBS system, and it just came with a CCBS set, so I'm just more used to using that. I'm talking really fast. Okay, so you can see that. Yeah, see that? Over here with this piece these two pieces which look nice and then that piece and then when I turn them around You'll see it even greater like um actually substantial use of the Bionicle pieces so I think this be one might argue that they don't look very good or they're too long or whatever the hell that's because um first um uh, His feet used to be his his feet his legs used to be really close together and that kind of like recreate it made him look really cartoony, like similar to Transformers Animated or Teen Titans, like that animation style. And to give you an idea of how close together is like, they didn't use this piece to connect. They connected using this piece, these two ball joints. And yeah, that was stupid. Yeah, it definitely was. And yeah, you might be saying that, but well, you're right. At first. I did it. These parts weren't actually part of the leg. I just used these to widen the hips, first of all. Second of all, then I added in the long feet, and then these look really good, actually, with cartoony look. But, you know, this is a lot more practical and better and has a bit more friction. So over here, on his feet, these were actually originally shadow traps, but then I made his head, and I realized it would be better if I just went on like they look his head kind of looks slightly like technological and it didn't really feel like shadow traps by the way if you're wondering why his eye color is so weird uh it's because i just took random pieces from my lego parts bin and just took whatever would fit the situation just found a bunch of clear pieces i didn't even care about the color so yeah um his arms are just standard arms they used two unity pieces um his chest is chest um, he has some complicated building. <laughs> this video keeps getting interrupted. Nothing too terrible, but, like, uh, it's annoying. <laughs> okay, show must go on. Not like any of you guys care, but still. I'm going to pretend like my videos matter. <laughs> okay, so that's basically it. Um, so I did actually have, like, a short... Okay, so... I think I already said this, but I forgot. <laughs> but I, his feet were originally shadow traps, but then technological feel, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. You must be so confused if I didn't actually say that already. <laughs> but whatever. Um, he has this little... Okay. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Arms are arms. Body's pretty interesting. I was short on these pieces, so I had to use hands and feet. That... Yeah, hands and feet. So he has a chain using these like clear blue, whatever, translucent bones from Kopaka. Yeah, I'm gonna turn him around now because I'm in a rush because I'm gonna get interrupted again because it's so in Hopefully, I swear that's the last time. Okay, let's just get a back view and get this over with. <laughs> hey, from the back. These are his feet and yes, he does use Hero Factory feet for heels on his feet anyways um here's oh yeah, the main reason I, I don't know if i'm yeah the main reason i wanted to do this i want to incorporate these ratchet joints into a massive ccbs guy this isn't guy isn't like completely massive i've made bigger but like this is probably the most co one of the most cohesive 
Um, just here he is from the back. Um, there's some friction editors over there, and that's it. There's some armor on the back here. That's how his chest plate is attached. And this is the big bionicle part you said I was talking about. He uses one of these torsos. And I'm really proud of how they, I use these because I think it's really creative. Um, so the hand piece is attached to it. Using these two pieces. And attached to this bone piece is the chain, actually. Uh... And then he does have a giant gap in his chest, but we'll ignore that for now. Um, if I could get words out of my mouth. Um, yeah, this is just him from the back. I use those unity pieces on his upper arms. I attach the giant back pieces just because, why not? So, honestly, that's all I have to say. This video is really shorter shorter than it should be, judging just by its size and my other videos. That's just because I'm annoyed and lazy, and I've had to re-record this a lot, and I'm getting interrupted a lot, so, yeah. So, that's him. Um, his head, actually, I want to show, like, a deconstruction of that right now, but, um, that's just him. I think he looks really cool, especially just in a, like, motionless pose, um, he is supposed to be evil. I don't know if you got that, but I can see why you didn't. I was I had to make a custom head just because I was not gonna use Kopaka's head on this. That would be disgusting of me. <laughs> Obviously that's exaggerated, but it would just look a lot better if I made a custom head and that's like the best I could do because I suck. So I just went one for the techno look. It kinda just does that. I mean nothing looks like it's not part of a robot, but nothing looks like it too much like it's a part of a robot, but like that's it, and if you didn't understand the teaser at the beginning, um, the next review is going to be of HG, which stands for High Grade Gypsy Avenger from Pacific Rim Uprising. So, on the topic by Bandai, <laughs> I don't know why I had to mention that, it's a model kit if you can't tell, and so on the topic of that, I do have three upcoming reviews, one that I needed to do for a while, but I'm still putting off because I'm lazy and stuff and then the other and then two that like yeah one I'm, all right so one i've been putting off for a while is um transformer studio series rampage and then soon which i already have this figure i'm doing going right now you as you can see um hg gypsy avenger which if it's from pacific rim uprising which isn't too great of a movie but pacific rim on the other hand you should check that movie out Obviously, with parents' permission. And on the way, another robot from Pacific Rim Uprising. I have Obsidian Fury model, like HG Obsidian Fury on the way. So, also, that review might be coming soon. So, this has been Metro Gamer 77's Apprentice. Thank you for watching. Like if you liked my video. Subscribe if you really liked it. That Like, if you... Bleh. Subscribe if you really, really... I cannot speak today. Subscribe if you really like my videos. <laughs> this has been Metro Gamer 77's Apprentice, signing off.